Refugees are mothers, fathers, sons and daughters. Students, Olympians, doctors, engineers, entrepreneurs, lawyers and teachers who have fled violence and persecution. While they come from many backgrounds, refugees cross borders in search of one common aspiration, the opportunity to lead a safe and dignified life. Today, more than 65 million have fled their homes in search of safety. That's more than any other time since World War II. In 2015, 24 people were forcibly displaced each minute. 1.8 million people became refugees, bringing the total number of refugees worldwide to more than 21 million. More than half are children. So how do we get here? More conflicts erupting or reigniting, lasting longer. In 1993, the typical protracted refugee situation lasted nine years. Today, the average duration is 26 years and counting. And though roughly a quarter of the world's refugees come from Syria, the crisis we face is global. Some countries have kept their borders open, like Turkey, Ethiopia, Ecuador. Others have contributed to UN appeals and humanitarian organizations and increased the number of resettlement slots for the most vulnerable refugees but the need has continued to grow. And these resources have been stretched so very thin. Which is why we're here today. Because we all share the responsibility to protect refugees. We're all inspired by their resilience, including the world leaders that have come together and responded. But much work remains. We must ensure UN agencies and humanitarian organizations have the funds to meet the most urgent needs of all those affected by crisis. We must ensure sufficient pathways for resettlement exist. And we must build opportunities for refugees to regain their dignity through education, lawful employment, all while striving towards a world where all refugees can one day do what they most long for, voluntarily return home. We're here today to take action because lives are at risk, because millions are in need, and because the global refugee crisis affects everyone's peace and security. Some countries have done a great deal, others are just stepping up, but together we can give refugees the chance that they deserve to rebuild their lives and live with dignity.